Hello everyone, good day and welcome to your second Kick PHP tutorial. And in this tutorial, I'm going to show you what, uh, how to continue the installation of your Kick PHP. Alright, the next file you need to download, if you don't already have one, is WAM server. I'm using Windows, so we have WAM server. If you're using Linux, you you probably Google uh, download LAMP server. LAMP server, okay. Then, if you are using, if you want to download the general one, it's called XAMPP server. You Google and download it. If you're using uh, a Mac, it's called NAMP server. Okay, depending on the one you're, you're using, I don't recommend uh, all other ones, yeah, other crazy ones, you, you could try to if you already have them, but uh, one server kind of saves you a lot of stress, I've, I've used it for years now and it's just amazing, if you ever don't want like, um, like you want, uh, you could try um, using it too, if you're comfortable with that, but uh, me personally, I like one server better, okay? Uh, so you visit wampserver.com that, that's the page we are on right now on this page first of all you notice that this is uh, speaking um, some french language for us uh, but you just go to the top right corner uh, as you can see on my mouse and then click the english version it, it brings you to the english page all right like i told you i'm using windows so you could click on download or right away it scrolls you down to this uh, portion of the page depending on the on how many bits you you are using all right the bits of your system you could download the 32 bits or the 64 bits depending on how your system functions now if you're not pretty sure of whether your windows system is 32 bits or 64 bits what you'll do is to go to your start menu go to your computer right click and then um, hit the properties option it brings up this page and then um, you could quickly see that the system type mine is 64 so if yours is 32 you go for the 32 bit option yours is 64 mine is 64 so i just hit this and it downloads one or it gives me a couple of warnings and uh, i hit the download directly Alright, as soon as you're done downloading the WAMP, you install it on your system, accept all the default options, and then start up your WAMP. If you want to start up your WAMP server, you come to your um, startup menu, and you type WAMP server. The, it shows up here, and then you click it, it starts up. So, when I start up my WAMP server, um, of course you have this message and you say yes first of all you will notice that nothing that nothing happens you, you don't observe any any real changes on the system it doesn't show up so but um, one, one kind of runs as a task sort of in the background so if you want to see one you could go to the bottom of your screen um, the task bar and here is mine so when you start up one, this is where it starts, okay? And then um, you could start looking through a whole, lot, a whole lot of other beautiful stuff like the things on one. First of all, is the local host. I'll click on it to open. And um, it's kind of the default home page for one. Then secondly, you have your You have a list of your projects already existing then you have your php my admin that is the the, the default um, database manager that comes with um, with one all right then uh, lastly you have um your root folder there's something called um ww root folder ww directory you click on it it opens a folder in your system um, just for clarity, this folder is in C drive, WAMP, and WW. It opens this folder, and then this is where this is where you go to where you copied your you downloaded your Kick PHP. Then copy that downloaded file and paste in this folder. 
this is mine you could just copy yours from wherever i downloaded into your system and paste it here then right click and extract it so uh, i have seven zip you could use whatever you you have to extract it if you don't have you could just open it directly and then um, drag out highlight everything and drag right click and create a new folder um, my new set, something like that then drag the contents of this into this i'm going to delete this all right so you extract it basically and then i extracted this and this is what i have when i open it i want to be sure that everything is in the first level sometimes you download and you have um, another folder before you have this and it's wrong so just make sure that when you open your first folder once you open it you have uh, these files all right if you're coming from 2.0 or 2.x or cake php you will notice that this the file structure is kind of different but uh, as soon as we start you, you get a hang of it you see that they are quite similar too all right i want to first of all rename this to something more memorable um in this tutorial i'll try to uh, build a blog so you understand uh, the power of cake php so we could call our site our new blog blog all right so i renamed the extracted folder to blog and um, here i have everything okay now one more thing i want to mention is on your warm server right there on your taskbar if this is not green mine is uh, is yellow which means there's a problem with mine but i fixed it uh, i hacked the one if yours is not green it means that yours has issues all right if it's not green it should be green in color so if it doesn't turn green after you you start it and wait for a few seconds you know that you have issues and you, one of the ways to to solve the issue is to make sure you click on restart all services and uh, of course make sure it's online and um, other things you could do is to test start and resume service test whether mysql is working same thing with uh, apache you test whether apache is running here is running it's asking me to stop service stop service instead of doing them manually you could just restart all services if you still have issues uh, probably one will warn you there will be a pop-up box telling you that some DLL files are missing. Uh, if if you have that issue or that problem, what you do is go to Google and um, Google the DLL file that is missing. It will give you the name of the file. You copy it down somewhere. Then you come to Google and uh, type um, download uh, whatever the name is forever not dll all right one will give you the name of the dll file that is missing in your system so you google it and download it and then of course you need to download how to install dll files how to install uh, install the dll files in windows in windows all right Sometimes there could be four or five DLL files that are missing. One thing with one is that it doesn't tell you everything at once. It gives you the first one. Once you fix, fix the first missing DLL, it gives you the second one and the third one. Most of the times, uh, from my past experience, before you get to the fourth one, everything is done and fixed. So you download the missing DLL, uh, Google how to install DLL files, and then set it up, install the DLL file. Then do it for the subsequent ones until your warm server is fixed and it turns green. The icon turns green in your, in your taskbar. Mine is hacked. It, it's working perfectly, but it's still brown because I hacked it somewhere. But yours should just turn green. All right. So we have uh, we have uh, stuff set up. In the next tutorial, I will I will show you how to check out the cake PHP site and then set up the database. Thank you very much.